Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective message. I did one earlier, and I haven't shared it yet, but it might be shared before this is uploaded. I'm not sure. I just don't know what to name it yet. <laughs> but anyways, this is very impromptu, because um, I was going over Zoom stuff and whatever, because I got a Zoom meeting tomorrow, and I was trying to figure out how to use it. Never used it before at least on my own, and I'll just go over a few things, and I'm like, you know, hmm, I want to do a reading. <laughs> so anyways, like, click, like, comment, share, and subscribe, stick around. I hope you do stay. I would love it if you would. There is someone who is heavily thinking about you, like you're on their mind, or you're heavily thinking about someone else, and I just opened up to that. Someone can't get the thought of you off their mind. So someone is heavily, heavily thinking about you, for whatever reason, um, we can kind of see what, what that's all about. Like if it's a good reason or a bad reason or something. Addicted to love. Love yourself like you love others. Someone doesn't do that though. I don't feel like this person is thinking of you because you don't love yourself. I feel like there's a level of self-love and self-care that this person needs to work on for themselves. They could be going through that process right now and reflecting. Because whenever you go through the dark night of the soul, um, no matter how deep you dive, when you start reflecting and going over the past and stuff, how you treat people, what you did, what you didn't do, whatever, um, it can dredge up things, you know? And I feel like somebody might be going through that, like, like I wish I treated you better, or I wish things would have been this way, not that way, or I wish I met you at a different time, you know what I mean? Like when I was in a better space because it would have been so much better. But you know, we connect with certain people at certain times for specific reasons. It's your divine counterpart. Your divine counterpart is a reflection of yourself, is who you are right now, who you want them to be. So I feel like the timing between you and this person, it was right on the money. You were supposed to connect with whoever this is. I don't feel like you dated them, but for some of you, you could have just everyone's, you know, we all have a different story. You know what I mean? Um, but this feels like, I wish I would have met you later on down the road or when I wasn't dealing with this, going through this or whatever, you know, whatever was going on, but you were meant to connect with them at that time because they wouldn't be reflecting right now over their past decisions and how they treated you and whoever because you were the catalyst for this change. I feel like you opened somebody's eyes and that wouldn't have happened otherwise or it would have happened in a totally different way at a different time. Um, break the mold. You're unique and we're meant to stand out and shine bright among the rest. You do stand out among the rest and that's probably why you were the one who affected this person. Um, you, you could have shown them. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I'm opening my eyes. I'm seeing a new perspective on life, love, you, this, that, whatever. I don't know. I'm just reviewing shit and I wouldn't have done that if it wasn't for you. You must have took a stand in this situation, but I feel like however you approach this person, whatever happened between you guys, you handled it very differently than other people because you are different. And you're unforgettable. This person will never forget you, I'm just going to say. I just heard, how could I? How could I? Learn this lesson now and jump off the karmic merry-go-round. Someone was dealing with a karmic cycle or person and I feel like that's what was happening or going on when you connected with them. And it's weird because I feel like this could be, for some of you, it could be your divine counterpart. And if it's twin flame or whatever label you want to put on it, uh, we teach each other things. And um, it's not always a pleasant experience it can be a roller coaster ride from hell especially if um you know 
one of you or both of you needs to do some healing work and stuff like that because usually we we come into each other's lives to teach each other whether we're consciously aware of it or not so i do feel like there's lots of lessons tied to the situation between you and this person and they're actually learning them um because you probably jumped off the car mcmerig around like i'm not doing this kind of thing something ended between you and someone like you're not I don't know if you're on talking terms or not, but you're not dealing with them right now, um, especially romantically. It's making me think of Beauty and the Beast, like when the last petal falls, that's when like the spell is broken because he needs to learn to love before the last petal falls off the rose. Otherwise he's going to be stuck the beast forever. You know what I mean? Like nothing's going to change. And right in the nick of time, he learns to love and it's not just him learning to love it's it's her loving him as well because he learned to love her really quick and it wasn't that she was didn't love him it was because the way I'm seeing it is like she was intrigued but you never know how much you truly care until something something fucked up happens so maybe something weird is going on like or something bad because you don't know what you have until it's gone so i don't know if it's just you exited this person's life and now they're realizing or you or someone's realizing like what you mean to them or what they mean to you or something but it feels more like there's some type of wake-up call here like i could have lost you have lost you forever I don't know if it's a health thing or an accident or something but it's like that could have been it and it wasn't life-threatening things can really make us think sometimes so someone might be dealing with that but I feel like I don't want to lose you it's something like that I don't want to lose you because you guys are like a perfect match or something that's how this person's viewing you like we could really make this work Something's going to change in the nick of time in this situation. Because um, this love story isn't over. Whatever story you got going on with this specific person, whoever it is to you, it ain't over. It ain't over till the fat lady sings, just say it. But no, this is like, you might be closing the book and it's like, oh, well, this, this story is over. No, there's a part two. That was just a prequel. So now the story begins. Oh, I love it when this shit comes out like this. <laughs> That was the prequel. Whatever happened between you guys, what what woke this person up, got them thinking, reflecting, and doing whatever they need to do for them was absolutely necessary. But that was the prequel to loving you. Like, all the shit that led up to this. Like, I didn't think I'd fall for you. I didn't think that, like, you would consume my thoughts and stuff like that. Well, now, chapter one. I wanted to say chapter one, we're going back to the beginning. So go back to the basics. So maybe you want to start fresh with this person. Got to go back to the beginning. So someone's going to go back to the beginning, probably to heal because we have rainy days, painful feelings, tears of sadness. Someone has to face some bullshit from their past with a karmic situation. I said someone was tied to a karmic person or situation. It's just going round and round and round on that burning fucking carousel. Somebody didn't want to face something, so they just kind of stayed stuck. That's what this feels like. It's a boring routine. I don't know. This person was just going through the motions of life because they were feeling a bit empty inside because of whoever they dealt with prior to you. Um, and they might want to apologize for how they treated you because they were dealing with someone else or something else, like just inner crap, you know, let's go. I got to go back to see. Yeah. Somebody's going over stuff. They're going over a lot of stuff. Just go with the flow. Don't force anything. There could be distance between the two of you, but I do feel like I want to move closer to you regardless of physical distance. It's like emotionally moving closer because we're moving forward. This is definitely taking some time. You couldn't know this person for a while or this person it was a process for them to work through their, their shit, basically. But I feel like you didn't force anything with them. They're not forcing anything with you. This is just like 
okay, when you want to go back to the beginning and rekindle something with someone, you got to start somewhere and go into a situation without expectation, you know? Like, don't expect them to fall head over heels for you. Don't, or well, this is how they need to think pertaining to you. Um, don't expect that they're just gonna, that everything's just gonna work out in a certain way because there's something different about this situation. There's something different about the two of you where it's gonna, this connection will be different than any other connection you have ever been in. Like, the relationship itself will be different you you're very different from who they've dated before and vice versa so just allow allow for this change um experience something new yeah you're very different from their usual type and expectation and that's probably why they weren't taking the steps forward prior but i feel like there's baby steps here someone's going to take a leap of faith and it's about fucking time that they do i'm just saying um, because they could have lost you. Some of you might not want to deal with this person at all because of whatever reason, you know, whatever happened, but I wanted to be like, do you believe in magic? Because I just saw Enchanted Forest. It's like, this connection feels very enchanting. You know, like, when you get the butterflies and love can be so magical and just be like, whew, like sweep you off your feet type, mm, not love bombing, but just the... The feeling of it all, it, it can feel like you're walking on sunshine, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like there's a lot of magic surrounding the situation. Like, it, it probably feels... Some of it probably felt like they were put under a spell or something. Like, you cast a spell on me. You did love crap on me. Hoodoo, voodoo, whatever, but you didn't. It's just they were very blocked off. And their heart chakra was blocked off because there's a lot of healing that needed to take place. But I feel like this person wants to explore their spirituality. So you could be very spiritual and they weren't. And maybe they're um, taking baby steps towards that and opening, trying to open up to something bigger than themselves. But this is uncharted territory is what it feels like. Dealing with you, this type of relationship, these feelings, um, it's, it's unique, it's different. They're not used... To they're not used to feeling this way. The letters A and V are significant. I don't know, it just stood out to me for some reason. Something to do with tepid water. Isn't tepid, like, isn't that when it's like warm? Someone's warm, it might not be, but this what's making me think of. So someone's warming up to this. They might need to warm up to you or you need to warm up to them because of whatever happened. Something's going to start very slow. Someone might ni literally need to move, too, especially if there is distance because we have travel here again. <sighs> Somebody was seeing something all wrong. Someone at a distance, for some of you, because there literally could be travel and distance. But look, this photo is upside down. Not right side up. It's like the hangman energy. Someone feels stuck because of distance. They feel stuck. Somebody might be stuck in a city. Maybe you live in a city. I don't know. It almost feels like uh, coming from two different worlds. So you could be used to one way of life and they're used to another or something. It just depends. Um... Because I also heard country bumpkin. So <laughs> I don't know if one of you is like in an urban area. One of you is in a rural area. Whichever way it goes. Um, but there really could be distance between you and them. Um, you flipped their world upside down. And I don't even think you realized that you did. Yeah. They're seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities. This person could have been in the service. They could be in the service right now. That could be where the distance is, you know? Especially if they're deployed or anything. But, like, veteran, public safety, public service, something. Someone's seeing a lot of signs about you, about this. Yeah, it's like you spin my head right round, right round. You know, like, whoa, what? what the mother of crap like my whole world just flipped upside down because of you and this doesn't feel bad it feels healthy it feels like it you turn my world upside down in a good way but it's terrifying is what it feels like 
traveling. There's, there's fucking distance or someone's traveling your way. I don't know. They want you. They're thinking about it. Yeah, because this person has feels for you, ass. They might want to express themselves. I feel like it'll be baby steps. This person isn't going to love bomb you and be like, oh, Professor Undying Love and all that shit. No, this is kind of like, I just, I have to share this with you because I feel very connected to you and I don't know what, I don't really understand what I'm feeling. I don't understand what this is, what it could be, what it should be, what's the right move, what's not. Go with the flow. Just allow. Don't force anything. Don't, don't rush. Do not rush. No matter how awesome the conversation is, no matter what this person says or what you say or whatever this, whatever this is, because there's outside circumstances here and issues that still need to be worked through and resolved on your end and theirs. So it's like in order for this to truly work, it has to be done properly. Because I feel like you and this person have trust issues. I don't know if you have trust issues between each other or if it's just because you've been fucked over. You know what I mean? Like, don't you love it when people do that? But that's part of the healing process. We have to deal with stupid people. We have second chance here. Reconciliation, making amends. This person's looking for an opportunity to right a wrong, to make amends with you. So this is someone that you did have a falling out with. Um, I do feel like there's passion here. There's chemistry. I do feel like there's feelings. And the feelings will grow over time if it's meant to. But I kind of feel like friends first. Like, I just want to see where this can go. But I get, like, nervous and butterflies whenever I talk to you. But I want to talk to you. And I don't really talk to you much. But I have so much I want to say. I just it doesn't come out of my fucking mouth whenever, whenever you're around. But I don't feel like you're around this person anymore. This could have fizzled out. But somebody wants to apologize for something. Yeah, go, well, there's friendship right there. I just heard you're going to think that's all I want. Is just to be your friend. But I want so much more. So this person, I don't know if you friend zoned them or if they friend zoned you. Because if they did that, they might think like, well, it seems I did that. I guess that's it, you know. You got to start somewhere. Especially if you want to build a solid foundation. Because any healthy relationship starts with a friend foundation. You know what I mean? Because don't you want to like marry your best fucking friend kind of thing or spend the rest of your life with someone that you can laugh with, joke with, have a good time and that genuinely is there for you. And that's called friendship, <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, it's going to be a major risk for this person to, see, to step up to the plate for them to say this because there's something... <sighs> it's because of their situation or yours or both could also have something to do with their mom or the mother of their children. That could be an issue here. Yeah, I don't know. That somebody has something to say. They're heavily, 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 heavily thinking about it, too. Hmm. I just heard, you're just so special. Like, you're so different. You stand out to this person, definitely, thousand percent. Yeah, there's depth here. There's depth to this connection to you. Um, this person has some family bullshit going on, I'm just saying. You might be aware of it, but there's, there was an issue surrounding their family. I don't know if it's like a family situation, like I can't leave because of my kids kind of thing, or... Um, that's just an obstacle. Could be that, but this kind of feels like I lied because of my family. Whatever that means, it could be taken multiple ways. This person lied because of their family. Or yours, I don't know. Depth and karma. Awareness, importance, value. Yeah, this person is becoming emotionally aware of this situation. Um, and they have deep feelings for you. But I feel like with karma, there's consequences, cause and effect, and debts. Like, there's karmic debts here but that need to be paid. But somebody, I don't know, it feels like I'm going to have to pay for what I did. When you become aware of whatever this is, I'm going to have to pay for this. Someone's going to have to pay for something. Or they're worried about getting bad karma. I just heard, no, someone will pay for this. Okay, so if anyone caused issues between you and them, um, 
whoever did that is going to pay for for step in between you guys. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. This energy is also like, I feel like it's my karma that you're not here anymore or that I fucked this up. It's my karma. Someone could be worried about that. Like, I don't want to reach out because you might reject me and that'll be my karma for whatever they said or did or didn't do. Because there's a lot of chemistry here. Someone's going through something right now. Their relation If they're in a relationship, it could be kind of rocky or falling apart i don't know there's like a situation that i feel like is this my karma for hurting you it's like that kind of thing someone's feeling that way this must be my fucking karma like i don't know because i feel like you're just so out of reach like i'm so drawn to you i can't touch you can't kiss you can't do anything even if they don't live far away, but for some of you, there is distance. I have traveled twice, just saying. But it's like, this is weird because it feels like my karma is that you're attracted to someone else. And that someone else could be someone in their family, someone like that they're close to, like a friend or something. Like a mutual friend, like this is my karma. Because of all of this, you're not going to pick me. You're going to choose whoever the fuck else this is. And this person knows the other person, no matter who they are. It's like, I'm just going to sit back and watch this? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, confusion. I'm going to have to sit back and watch you move on with that motherfucker. <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like. So, yeah, whoever, I don't know, there could be like a couple people coming towards you. Or this person wants to because they feel very connected and there's someone else that might swoop, swoop right in and you're going to go, or they're going to go, what? The mother of crap is this shit? Well, I'm working on myself. In comes this mofo. It's something like that. It's like, well, I'm trying to better a situation. <laughs> like something. Someone's not going to be very happy about it. Just seeing. <clears throat> Because you're a hot commodity right now, apparently. So there could be a few people who have their eyes on you, whether you're aware of it or not. Um, I just heard I really want to see you. So this person wants a face-to-face. -face. They really want to see you in some way, shape, or form for some reason. But it feels like because I want to talk. I want to thank you for something as well. Um, I just heard thank you for talking to me. So this person will thank you when you do talk to them or they're very, they're very glad that you did. I want you to see things from my perspective. I was just talking about hangman and seeing things from a different perspective. So I feel like this person is starting to see things from your perspective and you, I feel like you will see things from their perspective, especially if they come forward and actually communicate with you. Like, like, oh, if you would have just said that, I the whole situation could have been avoided or something. Like, it would have been so different. Something would have been so different if the two of you could have, you know, looked at the situation through each other's eyes. Hmm. Something like that. I hate to admit this, but I'm jealous that you're doing better than me. I mean, this person might be struggling and you're not, or you could be doing better than them or vice versa, but it's, this feels like you're happier than me. You're amazing and I admire your strength. Yeah, this person thinks you're a strong ass mofo, just say it. Um, and that's probably something that really turns them on about you that they're very drawn to towards because you're you're not a weakling you're not a pushover you have boundaries and a lot of times people think like oh if I have strong boundaries people are going to think I'm like hard-headed or stubborn or um that I don't go with the flow and blah 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 but that's not the case it, it actually shows a sign of strength you know 
where you can take a stand for yourself. You don't put up with other people's shit and it's very attractive to high vibing people. You know? Something to do with seeing. This person, I feel like they want to see you, but I feel like they can see you. So they could see you online, especially if there's distance. But even if they're right down the road, if you're on the internet, you know, it doesn't matter where the fuck you are. Position of authority. We have new job or career. Somebody might want to change career paths. Or they did. Heartache over what you no longer have. I definitely feel that in here. There's regret. Um, and you should accept valid criticism. So whoever this is, they could have got butt hurt if you were trying to... The name Ron is here too. Um, they could have got butt hurt if you were trying to help them. If you were saying like, well, you should do... You know, this is my opinion on whatever the hell you're doing. Whatever it is. Um, like giving advice. These are the changes that, that, that should be made. And this person was looking at your advice as like you're attacking them or something. Like, what? You don't think I'm good enough? Or whatever it is. Um, I just heard it's okay to be wrong. Um, something significant to do with someone's ear. Someone might have been whispering in another person's ear. Because that's where heartache is. Heartache over what you no longer have. Somebody didn't want to hear something. You told them something they didn't want to hear. And it could pertain to a past person um, of theirs. Like if you were giving relationship advice or something. And they wanted to be with a specific person. Or their current situation wasn't working out. This person did not like what they heard. Like... Like, no, I, that's not, I don't know, because I feel like I always win type energy. Like, I'm not, my relationship isn't going to fail. I'm going to get what I want. That What you're saying is wrong. Yeah, you told some. you gave someone advice, and it's not what they wanted to hear. Um, you told them something that was hard to hear, basically. No matter what it is, whether it's advice or not. Because um, this person... wants to be in control of the situation of their own life they want to be the one they want to be the one discord among friends and family but it's almost like you're the one for me I want to be the one for you but there's too many problems with mutual friends and family temptation will test you yeah there could have been a level of temptation in this situation either on your end or their end where maybe you were drawn to a family member of theirs or a friend of theirs or friends or something or their friends like you i don't know whatever it was it was being tempted in the wrong direction could have fucked something up here but i feel like it was all meant to happen that way i really do you could have been tempted by someone who was tied down, who was in a relationship. You were tempted by someone who's tied down and was frustrated in a relationship. Like, I'm stuck in this fucking situation, so I'm going to pull you over here because I have passion for you. Like, that's what someone did. They were being selfish in a situation... There could be some type of work connection here as well. Like, I don't know if you work together with this person, like, at your job or on a project or if that's significant. But friends and family are significant here. They're problematic. And there's someone who was feeling upset in their own life, in their own relationship, especially if they were with somebody else. And they, I don't know, there's a level of frustration here. And I feel like they could have passionately tempted you or they were tempted by you because of their crap situation and it screwed something up here. I don't know. It made a mess. Whatever this is, it made a big fucking mess. Um, it made a mess. Yeah. Because somebody was trying to test you. 
but not with the temptation thing. Trying to see what you would do. That's what I just heard. I was trying to see what you would do. Well, that's a risky little game, apparently. But someone, I don't know, someone fucked up with that. Um, anyways. Moving on. Moving on up. Alright, I'm just gonna get one of these. Yeah, well, Spirit intervened. I'm just saying. Some type of paranormal activity could be significant in this situation, but I, I do feel like you're you're spiritually connected to to this person or people. Um, someone's haunt, being haunted by their past, and I've already said that. They're being haunted. You're haunting them. Because I just heard, I'll be your ghost story. You're haunting them. Your memory is haunting this person. Whatever the situation is, it's driving them nuts. I just heard, yeah, because it keeps coming up. Well, I guess it, whatever it is is going to keep coming up until shit changes, until positive change is made. Yeah, clean up time until till someone cleans up the mess they made, till they come correct, come correct, come clean, something. Um, I guess something's going to keep coming up. watching you that's what i just <laughs> so i just heard because we're watching you so i mean there really could be people watching you online especially if you are online but it feels like the dead spirit is watching someone <laughs> they're paying close attention to whoever this is they're paying close attention to the situation holy fucking wow yeah transition to the spirit realm Ghost people. From death comes rebirth and then transition to the spirit realm. Just has spirit written all over it. I'm just saying. There is a significance with a death as well. I said that in my last reading. And whatever that is. But it's not someone passing anytime soon. It's someone who already did pass. Um, there's a significance with that. That person is definitely paying attention to whoever. To whoever. So they're paying attention to your ass. They're watching. There's two spirits that are close to these two people who know each other, whether they're family or not. Um, they're the ones who are watching. I just heard, you listen to me. So I don't know. Someone needs to listen to someone. person could have blocked you. We have the nine of pentacles sideways. It's like being independent, but not. You listen to me. It almost feels like someone's trying to end a relationship or something. Like trying to get out of a relationship. Maybe because it's controlling. What in the crap? Well, there's a, yeah, there's a painful relationship here. There could be someone who is controlling because with the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands reversed. This person's trying to control themselves, but someone also uses sex as a weapon, especially if you're partnered with that person. I don't know. There's an unstable family situation or relationship here, and someone doesn't know if they should stay in this relationship or not. Whatever it is, it's heartbreaking. This is a sad. I don't know. This doesn't feel very good. Just saying, this relationship feels kind of toxic. Yeah, because it's not balanced. It's like one person's giving more than the other. Yeah, someone's in an unhealthy relationship and they don't know what to do. It's almost like I built my life around this person, around this situation, at this location, whatever, and it's really hard to make those changes. Like, I can't, like, just take a major leap. It has to be baby steps, which is fine as long as you're making baby steps in the right direction. Someone wants to relocate. And there's potentially a, a new opportunity coming up to do so. 
to heal a situation. I feel like someone wants to travel to get away for mental health, basically. Like, I, I just I can't sit in this. I can't think about this anymore. I need to escape. And there's going to be an opportunity presenting itself for you to do so or for this person to do so. Um, someone's going to take an opportunity, like a vacation. It's like... Someone might take an opportunity while they're on vacation. Maybe they'll contact you or see you while they're on vacation. Um, like I, I don't know, someone's traveling. It could be someone you blocked or that blocked you. You feel blocked from them. Yeah, because there's like a sudden relationship here. A sudden connection. Someone's going to say something really fast. Wow. Because they've been sitting on this truth for a minute. Because I feel like there's an opportunity that someone should have taken in the past and they didn't. And it could have something to do with travel and seeing you. They didn't. Because they didn't want to betray someone or they didn't want to hurt you. It's like if I move forward with this, I, I would be betraying whoever or... It would be betraying two people, especially if someone, like, if it involves cheating or something. Because I keep staring at the word passion. So if this person was in a commitment and they intended on seeing you, um, they changed their plans. I feel like I don't want, it's like I don't want to be that person because it not only hurts whoever you're with, it hurts the person that you do it with because everyone gets hurt in that situation. And it's like I don't want to be looked down upon. Because I, I'm not a, I'm not a liar, liar. I'm not a cheater. I'm not a whatever. Yeah, I feel like there was a, an opportunity in the past that this person didn't take. Yeah, it was a sexual opportunity. They probably want to let you know why they didn't take that chance because they probably wouldn't have been able to control themselves, or there was an X in the way for some of you. Um. Someone might not have taken a passionate risk with you because of um, a karmic situation, because of an ex, because of someone around you or around them as well. Just depends because I kind of feel separate things here. Strength. You are strong enough to end an outdated situation. You are strong enough to make these changes because from an ending comes change, a rebirth, a new opportunity. And the world is about endings too. It's like once... Once this bullshit ends, there's a new opportunity here to heal a situation if you're strong enough to do so. You know, if you get out of your pride and ego and actually speak up. Yeah, I feel like someone is like intuitively drawn to speak to you. It's like their intuition is saying, I need to talk to you. I have something I need to say kind of thing. That's what this feels like. Like, I want to talk to you. I, I feel drawn to talk to you. I need to talk to you. And it might have something to do with mediumship, those on the other side, someone who's already crossed over, or just, uh, I don't know if the paranormal seems significant. I have an idea, is what I just heard. So if someone has an idea pertaining to paranormal activity or something, really listen to your intuition. Somebody wants to talk to you about some idea they had, or that they do have. They could be facing judgment for some bullshit idea they had in the past, just saying, but... I just heard against all odds. Yeah, because there's some sneaky shit here. What did I just say? Hmm. What is this sneaky crap about? Someone thought they got away with something, but they didn't. Because there's another person who feels very drawn to talk to you. And they might tell you the fucking truth. Something to do with taps is significant as well military song anyways we have the hangman but someone's teeter-tottering like should i do it should i do the right thing or not well the truth will set your ass free is what i have to say with this yeah someone doesn't know what to do i don't know how to tell you this is what i just heard so whoever this is is struggling to find the right words to say apparently Hmm. Alright, is there anything else? The 
masculine. There's a masculine energy who's being haunted. By you. By this connection. Possibly because they didn't send passion your way. They didn't make something work when they should have. Co-create. They didn't make something work when they should have. This person is being haunted by not showing you passion. By not investing in you. By not paying attention. By treating you like chop wood. By ignoring you more than likely. Yeah. Yeah. This person wants to let you know why they did ignore you, why they shut you out, why they did whatever they did. They could have been working together with somebody else, but, um, you know, like partnered up with somebody else and they just couldn't move away from that situation. But it's time to go. Spirit's saying, holy crap, my ears ringing. Spirit's saying, it's time to go. You're worth so much more than what you're being treated or how you're being treated. This person's thinking about everything. I, I want to say they're thinking about fucking everything. It's time to go. Yeah. Well, there's a tower here for someone. It's like spirit saying, you're worth so much more than, than this. It's time to go. Because something is not working out. Someone is not working together with another person and it's time to end that so that you can work on something or with someone who will work together with you or work on something that will work out. You know what I mean? Where it's not just... It's time for you to be happy. Yeah, there's time. Tick tock. It's time to be happy. Don't wait to be happy. Someone's putting their happiness on hold because of some situation they're in. Because uh, they just don't know what to do. But there is a serendipitous moment that has either already occurred. Yeah. Because I kind of feel like you guys didn't meet at the wrong time. You know what I mean? There's a lot of introspection here that was necessary. I feel like you didn't meet at the wrong time. There's a serendipitous moment, but there's another one that's going to happen. Like, how the hell was I lucky enough to have another faded event? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's something like that. This is really cool. I don't really know how it's going to turn out because someone needs to um, make a decision, basically. And they're worried about making the wrong one because they're worried about judging.